Welcome back, folks. Come along with me as we head off to Orlando, Florida to ICAST 2021, one of the best fishing expo events known to man. Here, we test all of the latest kayaks and fishing gear. We spend an entire week here filming all the latest gear and sharing it with you guys. So give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let us know what features you're looking for in a kayak. Hey folks, Kayak DIY here. Right now we're standing in front of the Bonafide Group uh, booth here and we have a new kayak that you guys gotta check out. So starting off here in the bow, we have a generous grab handle. We have a mounting plate that's a power pull uh, bolt style and uh, underneath it is actually hull. Uh, there is no exposed bolts. So these bolts that you see right here they actually are threaded into molded in inserts. So there's no holes that are drilled all the way through with the bolts in. So that's kind of nice. It makes this a replaceable plate. Uh, coming here, we have the hatch. The hatch can be opened up from either direction. So you can actually open it up from this direction or you can end up flipping these over, locking them in and opening it up from the other direction. Obviously, you guys want to see the pedal drive here, but before we do that, we have one more feature that's hiding in here. You can actually see rod tip protectors. So if you're coming into a low-lying tree area, you can actually protect your rods. Here's a look at the pedal drive. The pedal drive is the same pedal drive that Native uses on their kayaks. So you can see Native is right next door here. And these two companies have partnered together to, you know, basically create a very reliable new bona fide pedal kayak. So this is the Propel Drive. It's a 10 to 1 gear ratio. And the material is like a, a metal, I believe it's like aluminum cast. It's very, very durable. I mean, I would have no fear of banging this thing around, throwing it in the back of a truck. Uh, it's just a very reliable, good quality drive and so rather than reinventing the wheel Bonafide said hey why don't we just use something that works and let's use the propel drive they also happen to have a camera mount here to take the drive in and out you just got these little flip letter levers here here's a look at the seat the seat is mounted on tracks and it's very smooth I was trying it out yesterday and it is buttery smooth to adjust your seat position which you would need to do if you're a tall person and then all of a sudden you end up having a shorter person wanting to uh, pedal the kayak. On the side here, we have generous grab handles again, and we also have our rudder control. So this is gonna do all the steering. And then on the other side here, we have the uphaul downhaul line. So this is what adjusts the rudder and brings it up and down. And then, this is a rod landing holder right here. And then they added this accessory here for wheels. So you can easily transport this wherever you want to go. There's tracks just kind of all throughout the boat and that makes it very versatile for uh, rigging. They also have molded in rod holder right there. Here you can see an example of track mounted rod holders. We got a little access uh, spot right here. For the stern, if you had to get access to do any wiring or anything. And then they have a power pole mounted on the back. We're going to look underneath here. So there you can see the rudder. Nice wide blade rudder. Should have good steering based on the design of the kayak and the size. You can see kind of got a, almost like a tunneled catamaran style hull. That adds a lot of stability. And then You'll notice that there's like a little pad eye here with like a bungee. What that does is it keeps this uh, handle. It basically sucks it into the hull so that that way it doesn't snag on anything. But when you need it, you have a handle that flips out. So that's kind of a look at it. I'm trying to see here if there's any other features I missed because there's a lot to it. Oh, we got a little uh, paddle holder right there. They actually just have the paddles being held here with a track mounted setup because you really don't need to use uh, a paddle very often on a pedal kayak. So the price point on the Bonafide P127 is gonna come in at $2,999. It does not come with these extra accessories like this crate 
or these track mounted rod holders or the wheels. It's just going to be the kayak and the pedal drive um, that it comes with at that price point. So here's a look at the Bonafide P127. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll have all the details linked in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Signing out.